Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel for one of the most asked questions out there, can a pilot wear glasses? I get this question a lot from young aviation enthusiasts. Joe, I'm worried that I can't become a pilot because my eyesight isn't the best and therefore I have to wear glasses. Can you help me? So let's clean those lenses and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, before we get started, please be advised that I am not an aeronautical medical doctor. Although I pass the medical university every day, I've studied to become a pilot, not a doctor. So all the information I'm giving you today is based on a very long interview with my medical doctor during my last checkup and further research I've done on the internet. So please, whatever you do, before you dive into your aviation career, seek the advice from a professional, certified aeronautical medical doctor or an optician. They will be able to give you the information you need before pursuing a career in aviation. The overall answer is yes, you can wear glasses and become an airline pilot. I know quite a few colleagues of mine who wear glasses, so these pilots are definitely out there, but there are limits of course. So that clears the first question. No, you don't need to have perfect vision. However, you are required to have a certain vision standard to become an airline pilot as you have to pass the requirements for a class one medical. Unfortunately, these standards can vary from country to country, but for today, we'll stick to the FAA regulations. So the minimum requirement for a class one medical would be 20 over 20 vision. So what does 2020 vision mean? I'm sure many of you have seen this chart before, a so-called Snellen chart. Now the idea behind the chart is to measure your distant visual acuity by stepping back 20 feet away from the chart, then the doctor will want you to close up one eye with your hand and start to read out the first line. Now, if you could only read out the first line, well, E, that would mean your vision is 20 over 200, meaning a person with normal vision or standard vision, which is 20 over 20, can read the top line at a distance of 200 feet. So your goal is to be able to read the red marked line from a distance of 20 feet to get 20-20 vision. And no, memorizing the line won't get you through that exam. Now my vision, for example, is 20 over 10, meaning I can read the lowest line on the chart where a standard vision person needs to step 10 feet forward to be able to read the line. I ate a lot of carrots when I was young. <laughs> now the doctor will do another test to measure your near vision acuity with a similar chart. Here the requirements for a class one medical are 20 over 40. Now sometimes you also hear people saying you need six to six vision. If you think about it, 20 feet equals six meters. So that's the same principle just by using meters instead. So if you had to wear glasses in order to read the 2020 or 2040 vision line, that's fine, but there are limits. So if you are wearing glasses because you have hypermetropia, meaning you have a good farsightedness, the correction should not exceed plus five diopter. If you have myopia, meaning you have a good short sightedness, the limit shall not exceed minus six diopter. Astigmatism not exceeding two diopter and anisometropia, meaning both eyes need individual correction, shall not exceed two diopter either plus or minus. Now, fun fact, if you have to wear glasses whilst piloting the plane, it is a legal requirement that you bring a spare set of glasses in case you either break or lose your first pair. Trust me, I have seen that happen. The next test is the color vision test. Now, most doctors will use the Ishiara plates, which is better known as the color blindness test. Now, this test consists out of 38 different plates. Each of them consists out of colored dotted plates and each of them show either a number or a path. Now, based on what you can see and what you cannot, it is possible to check if you are suffering 
from some form of red-green colour blindness. And I've added a link in the description box below so you can have a go at the Ashiara test online. Now the tests I've mentioned are only a few which are frequently used during your medical examination, but there are many more. For example, to check your night vision or how fast your eyes are able to focus different objects at various distances which get tested every five years before your 30th birthday and then every two years. What about refractive eye surgery? Yes, having your eyes lasered is possible to some extent. Personally, I would wear glasses first before considering eye surgery, but for those questions, again, consult a professional aeronautical medical doctor. Also, if you're wanting to apply to a specific airline, make sure to check for the medical requirements because some airlines set their own requirements which can be above the standards of the aviation authorities. My personal experience regarding my first medical and eye examination, I wanted to be 100% sure before I start my career in aviation. So I went to the military medical test center where they run all sorts of tests on you and if you pass their requirements, the medical for commercial pilots is a piece of cake. By the way, these boys are just see-throughs. I don't wear any glasses. <laughs> and that's it for today, so please make sure seek a professional doctor regarding your upcoming medical examination if you have any worries, doubts, or further questions. Thank you very much for your time, and don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best. See you next week, your Captain Joe.